Yeah, I did the shit out of this. So anyway, I bought the uh, the unicorn motors like a week or two ago, and I could not get them to work um, with this. Uh, the the motors would spin up and they'd work fine with no props on but as soon as I put props on the motors were like super delayed so I wound up actually going out and getting the upgraded JST 2.0 connection with the um, high voltage 3.8 kV batteries these are by uh, crazy pony so when I first started it off, once again, it did not want to work. Um, it was just spitting up at whatever value it pretty much wanted. And then I actually just let the motors kind of sit and idle for a couple minutes. Just kind of let them break in a little bit at a, uh, a low throttle value. And after that, it kind of seemed, seemed like it's working a little bit. Um... I'll go ahead and plug this in, make sure my remote's on. Okay. So, now. Yeah, I got a feeling this is going to have some power to it. Let's throw some goggles on. Okay, so I'm not actually too sure what happened with the last pack. Uh, everything was going good. Then I was flying around and it just kind of fell over. I don't think it's the battery. I don't think anyway. But we'll, we'll give it another try off the same battery and see what we get. Yeah, so that just totally lost control. Um, at this point, I'm not fucking too sure what it is. But I've got a couple more batteries on the charger. So what I'm going to do now is... I'm going to change the props and stick on a fresh battery and see what happens. But I just flew one pack that was perfectly fine. I'm plugging the second pack right now. I'm going to record this one. <clears throat> Alright, so I also put a, uh, a throttle curve on there. So that way I could uh, try to get a little more flight time out of the battery if I didn't want to be running it as hard as I could. So... We'll go ahead and get DVR fired up right now. That should be all set. Got that big uh, glare like right here in the screen. That's nothing wrong with my camera. That's just, that's on the actual uh, glare from the sunlight or some shit. Now, as soon as I bumped into myself, I disarmed. It did not disarm. It pretty much just kind of took off. Um, so I don't know. That might still be something with an issue that I'm having because I kind of don't want this thing just flying off, you know, away from me. I, I only flew for about 21 seconds, so... A little bump into myself and I'm already having an issue <clears throat> but that was uh that was with my my throttle curve being down low um 
right now I'll raise my throttle curve up that way I'll be idling more around like 20% 30% throttle I also uh, I'm running expo right now too so I have like uh, I want to say somewhere around like 30 33% expo oh yeah see it just drifted off in its own direction stop taking commands and not too sure why that is. It's still on and everything, so I'm not even gonna touch it. We're just gonna keep flying and see what happens. I did just turn the uh, the throttle curve back down, and the rate that I'm running is my slow rate. See, I think it's this battery. There's one battery that I just got because I just got this four pack of batteries. There's one battery I've been trying to trying to use and wean out because it seems like every time I plug it in, it just does not work for me. I'm it, my time is at 51 seconds, so all together that was that was what I had a a minute. Was it a minute thirty? Minute forty? Yeah, it was a minute 30 time. So, if I still had 51 seconds left, I only flew for 39 seconds. And I'm thinking this is the junk battery. I'm going to keep that one separate for now. Alright. So now let's start off this battery. It's all plugged in, good to go. Recording, throttle curve down, regular rate on. second Whew. pretty close to the water bowl right now and I mean I'm conformal coated but a little too close for comfort since I haven't actually went through and did the batteries so that was a little scary for a sec I still got about 30 seconds left on that timer so let's just keep going yeah, that's not me control is already off and that was 30 seconds left on the timer. So, why am I having an issue like that? Beats the hell out of me. All right, so this is the final pack. I'm gonna plug in and try out, I guess. It's kind of up and down because I'm a little scared to even attempt to fly this outside because I don't want it to just fly away on me. I kind of feel like that's what it could do. But let's go ahead and hit record and see what happens this time.
gonna fucking run this thing into the ground right now with this throttle curve that I'm taking off. Some fucking catch, right? It's because I'm nasty. Yeah, we'll just take off right from the remote. Okay, yep, I, I turned you off twice. Okay, you're, you're off already. You're, you're off. It's supposed to be off. So, yeah, it's been pretty interesting. Um, not too sure what's going on. I still got uh, 30 seconds left on that flight timer. You guys can't even see that, can you? It's all blown up. But I still got 30 seconds left on that timer, so even on that battery, only flew about a minute. It's a good possibility it's my unicorn motors. But I don't have any other motors to switch it to right now, so that's pretty much how it's going to stay. And I'll be getting more batteries in next week, so maybe I should just buy another regular set of uh, motors. I don't know. We'll charge some more packs. We'll try it out off camera, see what happens. So oh, just finished ripping two more packs. The first one uh, was great. Uh, I left the throttle curve low. Um, I flew actually about 37, 37 seconds past my flight timer, which I had a timer set for a minute and a half, just because these are high voltage batteries and high KV motors, so I know it would drain it quick. So I flew about 30 to 37 seconds uh, past my flight timer, landed, no problem. Uh, second pack went, plugged in, started off just like the other one, and 14 seconds into it, it just drifted off and hit the ceiling and sat in the corner for a second spinning out, and then it dropped and hit the floor. And I disarmed it like two or three times and... Yeah, I don't know right now. Basically, this has got to get messed with a little bit more before it's trustworthy of being outside because that was the entire point of upgrading the motors and the battery was because it's waterproof and I could fly it outside pretty much anywhere because it's almost unnoticeable. Um... And none of that has worked out for me yet. So this will be a in-the-house flyer until I can guarantee everything will work and nothing will fall apart. But thank you guys for watching. This is my short little battery unicorn motor along with Inductrix Pro FPV review. Uh, out of all three, they're awesome. Just don't mix them all together. Other than that, thank you guys for watching. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Hit like if you guys enjoyed it. And always, happy FPV.